Psalms 139, verse 1 and 2. You don't need to turn there. I'm going to give you some scripture to look at, but right now I want you to hear me. Did you know that the Bible says in Psalms 139, verses 1 and 2, O oh Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. You know when I sit down or stand up. You know my thoughts even when I'm far away. Matthew, the 10th chapter, verses 38, let me read to you. And the very hair on your head all are numbered. As I said earlier, God knows our hair. It's all numbered. Amen. So in other words, uh, you can't say like the psalmist says, uh, Lord, are you never there? You're there everywhere I go. I can go to the desert, you're there. I can go to the mountain, you're there. I can go to Houston, you're there. I can go to Dallas, you're there. I can go anywhere, you're there. I can't run from your presence. You will never run from God's presence. I don't care what you say. You will never run. Even if you try to get him out of your mind, you, you, you will never forget him. Amen. So in other words, we have to understand something. He knows exactly what you're going through. And he's, he knows exactly what really you care about in life. Now listen to me. He knows exactly what you care about in life. He knows it. He, he loves you to enjoy life, but he also wants you to understand that you enjoy him while you're in life. Enjoy him while you're in life. Enjoy him and put him high above everything else. Exalt him higher than anything and everything that you everything. You know, God loves you to enjoy a good football game. God enjoys wants you to enjoy a good basketball game. But don't you make that thing, and I'm talking, I'm talking because this is the thing that we see in our country, that that thing has become a God to many. Let me tell you how it can become a God to many. Because they, they exalt highly and applaud highly things and prestige rather than God. Now you give me a good football player that will say, I owe this to God, that's awesome. You know, do you know they have an awesome rep a representation of God at that very moment? And that's what we have to do. If you're, if you're really exalted or, or highly favored at work, then you are held highly accountable to God. Highly accountable to God. If, if, you know, think about it. God will sit you down in heaven and say, okay, I favored you. I graced you. I had all these friends around you. Where were you? You see, this is the key that we have to think about. Can you say amen? Hey,